Hi guys and welcome to another quick form video. So today we're actually looking at uh, how to fix guide and uh, it's, we're trying to fix basically the screen overlay issue that has been plaguing a lot of people and a lot of people don't actually know how to fix this. Uh, people have came to the store uh, for me to fix this and you know it's even giving me some trouble when I first um, heard about it but you know like the smart guy I am uh, you know just do a little research and of course uh, you'll be able to fix this. Um, with my experience, it's different, guys. It's like one way it's not always going to fix it. depends what you did on your phone. So it's been three different ways. I'm going to show you the three different ways. Well, about four different ways um, to fix this issue. Um, and basically, you just have to narrow it down to what it is. But if you do all of these, um, you know, tips, if you take all these tips, it will get rid of it. And I've done it. It's mainly caused on Samsung's uh, from far as I know. I've seen it on one LG. This is the Stylo 3, I think. But most of them have been Samsung's. So let's see, you might say, what is screen overlay? So a screen overlay is a part of an app that can display over the top of it, of other apps. Um, the most well-known example is a chat head. So as you guys know, on Facebook Messenger, when you get um, a message, you get the little head that, you know, it's on top of your screen. You can move it and all that stuff. Um, but apps need your permission to use screen overlay. And sometimes this can cause a problem. For example, if an app were able to display something over the top of a permission um, dialog it can try to trick you into granting permission to do stuff you might not want <clears throat> so basically the main issue with this is like let's say you're on Facebook or something you're trying to upload a picture you get this annoying pop-up um, an annoying pop-up looks um, let's see where's it at? right here they'll say um, screen overlay detect um, to change this permission setting, you first have to turn off the screen overlay from settings to apps, basically. And then you open the settings and blah, blah, blah. It's, it's pretty annoying, guys, but that's why I'm here, to help you out. So I know uh, this can plague a lot of other users. So let's look at two ways on the computer, and I'll show you two other ways on, on the phone. So the first way is launch the settings app from your home screen or app drawer. Scroll down and tap applications, so as you can see. Go to settings and you go to applications. Tap application manager. Tap more to open the menu in the top right corner. So when you see all your applications, there's going to be a more or three dots. I believe now it is on newer models. Um, so tap uh, apps that can appear on top. So you'll have the show system maps, reset app preferences. They don't say um, apps that can appear on top. So you click that and it'll show you here all the apps that can appear on top. From here, you'll uh, need to track down the apps that need permission to use a screen overlay, usually the app you were just using. When, you found, when you've found it, tap the toggle next to it to turn it off and you should be ready to go. Okay, that's one way to do it. So if this way works for you, good. If not, then let's go on to um, the second solution. So same thing. So to complete the setup of the application permission, disable draw over other apps uh, feature for the enabled applications by following these steps. Open settings, select apps, tap the gear icon, select draw over other apps, select the application that is running in the background, turn off permit drawing over other apps, close and reopen the application, Set the application permission. <clears throat> and then, of course, if um, you have a newer system, oh, OS, I mean, um, open settings, select apps, tap the gear icon, select draw all over other apps, enable temporary turn off overlays, close and reopen the application, and set the application permission. So as you can see, those are two ways to do it. Now I'm going to show you two other ways that as well, these two other ways are the ones that I best um, have had more success with um, by doing it. So I'll gladly show you. So follow me to the computer, to the phone, and we can go from there. Hi guys, so now we are here on the phone. So I'm going to show you what to do. So as you can see, there's, if you're just by looking at the phone, you can see there's some issues already. So this is what a lot of lot of customers and people overall um, end up doing or by accident, you know, just by clicking to get an advertisement, you click on it and, and it installs these cleaning apps or anything like battery saving. None of that stuff works, honestly. All that battery saving mumbo jumbo does not work, honestly, you know. 
I see a lot of people, oh, you know, it told me this, I read, no, no, no. I've talked to many other coworkers and other stores as well, even from different carriers, and they all suggest and tell me that all these battery saving apps do not work. And I've had, had some issues with the screen overlay thing where uh, it was the, the battery, saving, battery saving apps that were causing it. So basically, if you've installed them, you know, see all these right here. I'm gonna show you how to uninstall them. Basically, it's real simple. You should know how to do it. If not, I'm gonna show you right now. Just go to your apps. Trust me, guys. When I say this, I'm helping you out. Also, sometimes the screen clean, uh, the phone cleaning apps remove those as well. As you can see, I don't have any on my phone. So, AC battery saver, uninstall that. And I said as well as, as if you have those cleaning apps, remove those as well. So once you remove that, look for the other one. Battery doctor. Uninstall that. Like I said, it does not, your phone does not need it and uh, it can cause the overlay issues as well. And there we go. So I just installed these myself just so you guys can see how to do it. But like I said, many People, especially older customers, don't know that, you know, let's say they're in an app and it says, oh, your phone's running slow, you have a virus, you can click it, and then you download battery saving app or the cleaning apps. Yeah, no. So that's all of them. That's as simple as that. And then the final solution would be in your accessibility. So same thing, go to your settings, scroll all the way down to accessibility. You want to go to motor and Cognition, touch assist, sometimes your touch assist. See, this is what a screen overlay is. This technically is screen overlay, guys. So anything like that, make sure you remove it. The last time I fixed this issue for a customer was that they had the touch assist and some other one that had like a little, um, it was kind of like a little speech bubble. It wasn't Facebook, but it's same thing. It was in um, accessibility down here in one of these settings. So just remove that. Anything that's on your screen, that's not really Facebook Messenger, you have to remove that. That's what's causing that issue, guys. So that's how simple it is, guys. Please comment, rate, subscribe, ask me any questions that you have. Um, hopefully these, this video helped you out. Um, basically, I showed you four ways to that could solve this issue. So yeah, guys, thank you for watching. Please comment, rate, subscribe, and uh, yeah.